In 2007, we picked up a video camera for the first time. We wanted to show what hunting was to us, the realities of chasing elk. It was the roller coaster of bow hunting. Since that, we rolled on DVDs for 10 years. In 2017, we quit our jobs and came up with this project we called Land of the Free. We bow hunted five states for 50 days straight. From 2017 to now, we spent 240 days in the field chasing bulls with our bow. But through it all, one thing has remained consistent. The Brotherhood. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Good job, bro. Oh, man. I love you guys. That was an experience, man. Oh, my God. The devil's in the detail. Is that a horn? That's it, baby. <laughs> That's a six point. <laughs> that is a horn. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about our brotherhood is that we always show up for each other, every single time, no matter what. It's been yeah, he's coming. the ruin Let him come, of many a poor boy. <coughs> I'm one. <coughs> My mother was a traitor. She sold my new blue jeans. My father was a gambling man way down in New Orleans. He might be tearing that thing up. What? Satisfied is when he's on the drum.
Tell your children not to do what I have done. Spend your lives in sin and misery in the house of the rising sun. I've got one foot on the platform. And the other foot He's down. We got him, buddy. <laughs> He's, <gone>. He's down. <laughs> oh. Yes. Nice job, oh. man. I didn't see that. Man down. Man down. Man down. Are you okay? He didn't go but 50 yards. <laughs> Holy moly. Dude. Oh. Should we go grab our packs? Yeah. How the heck did the game plan that you said, let's go shoot a bull tonight? Pack him out tonight and tomorrow. Take the weekend off. That was a brilliant idea. <laughs> and it worked. Yeah, that's a beautiful oh. five point. Dude, he, it, we just had to move up. Once yeah. we moved up, boom, he was committed. He did not like that. He didn't like it at all. Cool. Oh, guys. The Oregon coast, the swamp. We did it. Guys, thanks for following along with yeah. us. Uh, it's so awesome to have you guys with us here on this. 100%. And, uh, and we went, we got, we kind of got left in the dirt, dude, in the dust. We got, we had to go old school. To, would you say it. abandoned? Highly abandoned. <laughs> we no. got pooped on pretty hard. <laughs> but guess what? It's always when we're like, everyone leaves and they're like, literally the next hey, day. Hey, we're we going go to out. where bulls are screaming. <laughs> then we have okay, to thanks, guys. Back to meet by ourselves. <laughs> Oh, uh, we're giving awesome. you guys a hard time, but Have to. Um, we're just excited. We got a bull down. <laughs> Tell me you guys killed an elk. Bull down. <laughs> yeah. I repeat, bull down. Bull down. Hammered him? Yep, called him into 15 yards. Is he dead right now? Oh, yeah, yeah. We're standing <laughs> about 15 feet from him in the open. Love you too, man, right, and we'll you, give man. you a pics when we get better service. All right, guys. Okay. See ya. All right, bye. later. Bye. You can practically hear the ocean from here. Uh, in this thick rainforest. If you guys haven't had a chance to try somewhere new, just put a dot on the map and go look for a spot. This is kind of our honey hole. But man, hopefully all you guys get to experience something like this. Just a big adventure. So make a plan for next year. Get a couple buddies and go go find a spot and, and see what holds. Man, just so grateful that we're in elk country. In God's country. Doing what we love to do. Thanks for hanging with us for so long, guys. I think this is like year 16 or something we've been doing this. 16 or 17 years. Packing a camera around. Talking to you guys. And uh, man. Couldn't be more grateful for you all sticking with us all these years. And all you new people who are just seeing us for the first time. We've been doing this a long time. It never gets old. Um, 
and we're happy to have you with us. Welcome to uh, Elk Hunting 2022. Land of the Free Series is beginning and uh, we got lots more in store for you guys so stick with us. out of that all right guys uh good morning it is september the 12th uh smoke still kind of hanging there with us but yesterday we ended up taking chase to town and he is in new mexico with steve uh today and so brian and casey had to go home just cody and i uh came up last yesterday evening 
and uh <laughs> Instead of hunting, we actually just spent some time trying to locate some bulls and, and found some bulls that uh, we ended up getting the trucks. Took the old gypsy camp on the road and we camped on them and they're still right here. So uh, there's bull bugle right there. Uh, we think there's like two bulls in there right now. There was three or four yesterday evening. So uh, gonna try and get the wind right and slip in on them. So they've been going to bed pretty early with all this smoke. It's not as bad, but it's still pretty smoky. Yeah. That's a giant. Oh, can you believe that? I had a black little window right behind the shoulder. You sound perfect. <laughs> oh, yeah. I shot him for 35. It sounded absolutely perfect. What oh, blew I through him? Yeah. Oh God, that's a nice ball. Let's try it. What a oh, hunt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Love you, man. I love you too. Good job. Good job holding it together, man. I'm, I'm literally just like, okay, Trevor, I'm giving you props for this. I was doing the in, in through the mouth, out through the nose, because I was just like, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. <sighs> it all came down to 17 minutes. 17 minutes of running time on that clip. Strand. You did an awesome job, man. So proud of you. Like, doing what you did on this hunt, passing those bulls up was not, not something that, I don't know that I could have done. And um, you wanted to kill a memorable one, and I think you did it.
We're going to wake Chase up. Hopefully he's in his room. <laughs> <laughs> If he wakes up, we're gonna beat the door down. <laughs> I oh. knew it. Was <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear the bowl? You dirty dog. <laughs> well, in you. Yeah, for the last six years. Since we started Land of the Free, I'm gone from anywhere from 30 to 50 days straight every single September, October, middle of August, all the, all that time I'm gone, and it um, it definitely definitely weighs on a on a person. I think as a father, I think you have a lot of obligations to your family, to your wife, to your kids, uh, to make a living, to you know provide for them in so many different ways, and. Um, financially and emotionally and being there for them. To me, it's just unbelievable how fast time flies by. And if you look back at, at my kids, how young they were when we started this whole journey and the progressions through what we've done and everything and, and how, how precious those moments really are. But, but just, to, just to watch the growth and, and, and see the twinkle in his eyes to remind me of the first time I maybe did that and the pride that I would have in it. But with how much that we're gone, we miss, you know, a lot of those milestones. Lately I've been needing someone to remind me worth more than just an evening. I hope to kitchen smoke you dancing like God's moving. You all right, bud? We shall we soon go down. That a boy. Good job, son. Good job. Good job. You all right? Yeah. Just take a second. Take a second and just sit back and, and enjoy it and compose yourself and uh, yeah, you did a good job. You did a good job. Is it a nice one? It's, I think it's a good five point. Good deal. Yeah. I'm, I'm super proud of you, bub. I'm super proud of you. Uh, <laughs> you a little bit shaken? I wasn't until I called you. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm shaking. <laughs> Good job, bud. I'm proud of you. Just go real, real slow, okay? Yeah, I will. All right. Um, yeah. um, I'm super proud of you, son. Super proud of you. All right. You know how to do the rest, okay? I love you. Yep. Love you, Dad. I love you, too. I'll see you when you get back. I will. All right, bud. We'll see you. It was prideful for me in that moment um, to where it's like if you've taught your kids well enough and if you've mentored them well enough that they can go out and don't have to have you there and can do something on their own, something huge, something great. I, I just I think that a lot of kids at the age of 16 don't don't have uh, don't get to do. No one made those for me. You're going full tactical. I like this. Yeah, I'm going full tactical. <laughs> what do you think? I think at the end of the day, Man's anything that you do and you commit fully to, to there's going to be small sacrifices that, that come along with those changes I think that you make. And, Man, but from what we've done and what we've got to do and the, and, and the impact that we've made on our families and other people that we've seen directly, it's been just a giant, giant blessing. Definitely the, the pluses way over way the minuses by a long shot. I don't really know what I'm doing. Ain't stop this. Ain't gonna stop this fire.
really good. I, I, it was 22, 24. I shot it for like 27, 30 yards. Anyway, and I buried the pin. Felt really good. It hit it in the face. <laughs> Sucks. But, I mean, we reviewed the footage and you can see if you see on the line, if you draw a line where the arrow went in, the bull was, it would have been a perfect chest, I, I won't say perfect, but a chest cavity hit. A really good, good, good angle on him. But, he just drops his face, and he just, I hit him in the face, man, it just sucks. We got blood, there's blood all over. I don't i don't know how you track a face shot. I don't know how you do any of this. And that's what we're talking about right now. It's like, what do we What do? We do? do we give him time? Do we, is, I don't know, man. It's, we're in uncharted territory here with this, so. Man, um, yeah, I, we're seeing lots of blood. I mean, there's blood. It's like, it's like you poured blood all over the ground. <sighs> so, buddy crosses this fence right here into private. So, we're calling the state police now, and we're trying to get numbers, trying to figure out if we can, if we can get on, if we can go try to retrieve the. It's, with the blood that I'm seeing, he's gonna bleed out at some point. It looks. I mean, I'm shocked. I am shocked. I kind of. The bow hunting roller coaster continues, and then now we get up clear to the private property, and we can't cross on the private property, so we're calling, trying to get hold of landowners. That took about an hour. OSP. Yeah, we called OSP. We called. I mean, we've had m multiple calls. Thank God we have service. We just got permission to go in and track the bull. We left our bows over in the brush. We're not going to take them with us, and hopefully we can find this thing. So. We where that last blood and bed, all the drama. We can't figure out where from there. We've split up, we've done grids. We're gonna go back to the main blood and just start doing small circles around it. See if we can get a direction he was headed. <sighs> Super tough. Oh, uh, you found it? <laughs> what? Yeah! <laughs> no way! Yeah! Oh! Yes, brother! Yeah! Dude! You found him! I just... Dude! 
Yes. <laughs> we did it, guys. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> yeah, we did. I can't. I just. I can't believe it. I, <laughs> without the team that we have, this none of this is possible. It's nothing to do with me. It's this. These guys right here. Thank you, guys. Oh, I love you too, guys. Wow. This is like the definition of teamwork. 100%. It just, the team is, and we say it all the time, I think, it's just the team of guys that we have is just pretty epic. Like, I mean, we, we lost blood today. We couldn't find any more. Looked around, all of us looked for an hour and a half all around, did a little grid, and we're like, man, there, we, we, we sat down and we had some food and we're like, we gotta do more. How can we do more? So we went a whole giant grid and it was just like, just without those guys to be able to willing to do that not just give up and be like dude we can't find him let's just move on I mean unbelievable unreal but um, yeah first time I've had a bow in my hand in I don't know three four years something like that and it's been awesome it, it was it was so much fun going back through because I've been shooting a rifle a lot lately it was fun actually picking up the bow again and doing going through the reps and doing all the practicing and and shooting uh, a lot um, it, it was fun I'm not jacked about the shot. I felt so bad for this elk. Um, but as you'll see in the video, it do, he does duck, but it just still makes me feel terrible. It's like, it's still within my power, I guess. I don't know, Trevor says it's not, but it's like after that arrow is released, there's nothing I can do. But at the same time, I can, I can take those factors and narrow them down, I think, to where it's like a really ethical, clean shot. And I've done a lot of frontal shots and um, been very successful with them. Very, almost 100% success, I think so, 100% successful with a frontal shot. And I knew if I could get in that cavity, I could, you know, he wouldn't go 75 yards. But when he ducked down and it just hit him where it hit him right in the face, it was just like, my whole heart just sank. It was just, oh, I felt terrible and still feel terrible, honestly. That he had to die that way but um it's just things do happen i mean it's called hunting it's not called just going out and harvesting and there is things that take place that are sometimes out of your control but trying to make everything in your control is the big the big thing to try to do and i just you know it it sucked it was it was tough that's why the roller coaster was just so up and down just finding blood and then not finding blood and then searching and not finding anything and then Anyway, and then coming upon him and just walking up on him, it was just, I mean, it was a huge blessing. It's like, uh, kind of like fly fishing, right? When you tie your own fly and you put in all the work and everything, and then you, you know, get it out there and get a fish on it. That's the way it is with the, our Calco. And we're calling it the People's Calco because we want to know what you guys want. We want to make the best calls out there. And Strand was back there bugling, uh, chuckling, cow calling. And we're starting to just really get to where we, we're, we're making some awesome, awesome calls. And I would venture to say they're the best on the market. They are better than anything out there. They're, they're awesome. And to have this be called in by my own friends with our own calls is pretty, pretty awesome. Oh. It's pretty rad. There's nothing in still Well, Chase and I made it to New Mexico. Left me when 
I was quite young When I was quite young And my dear mother left me When I was quite young When I was quite young She said, Lord, have mercy On my wicked son We're just sound checking as we're going, and the elk, I mean, have been in here at some point. It's just we weren't sure where they're at. We're back in where we were yesterday. We've got our friend Ben Rodriguez who's came to you. Made it. Yes, he made it. Hopefully we find him this morning and Ben puts him right in my lap and we get him. That's that's the plan. That's the plan. That's the plan. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Yeah. <laughs> if we could find him and then figure out how to play the wind. See the land. Butterfly's bad right now. <laughs> pretty sure he's dead. I'm pretty sure he's dead. <laughs> Let's go get your ball. Let's go find him. Damn! Woo! <laughs> yeah! That is him. Look at that freaking rack. Oh my god, you guys. Dude, look what we just got. Honey, I'm sorry, but we're caping him. I love you, babes. Look at the thirds. Those are giant. We did it, man. We, did it. we freaking did it. <laughs> we're caping. Sorry, honey, I love you. He's huge everywhere. Everywhere. 
I want to give a giant, giant shout out to Brian Kelly from Pennsylvania. The only reason why this happened was because you were kind enough to transfer your tag to me. This bull's for you, buddy. Hopefully you will enjoy the video. We weren't here a long time, but we had our good friend Ben come in and he called this bull in right into my lap. We're tagged in New Mexico, baby. <laughs> oh. We left New Mexico. We are now back in uh, Springfield, Oregon. My wife Heidi called and said that the uh, twins had a volleyball game. And so we decided we're gonna come over and check it out. We're gone a lot in the fall. And for us to be able to be this close and be able to come check it out, it's pretty awesome. So I think they'll be really excited. So we're gonna go in, watch them play a little VB. And uh, it's, uh, it's a big deal, you know. Uh, it's huge for our kids to see us in the stands as, as parents, so um, rooting them on. So 20 minutes is nothing. We're here, we're gonna watch them play, root them on and have fun. I'm excited, so here we go. They uh, they struggled a little bit, but they, they pulled it through, worked together as a team and they won. So, I mean, they got the big W. It was a, yeah, a little sloppy, but we'll take it. <laughs> I mean, honestly, in the end, when Chase and I walked in the, into the gym and they saw us, and they saw me come in, this, the, the looks on their faces, that's, that's what matters being there supporting your kids i mean that's that's what it's all about is supporting your children and what they do i don't care if it's sports chess band i don't care what it is supporting your kids and being there for them is everything and uh those are things you don't want to miss in life and we're super busy in the fall and we do miss some stuff but if there's any opportunity that we have a few minutes that we can be there i mean i know all the guys everybody in the group will do it for their kids so it was uh it was awesome, we had fun, and now we are headed back to the coast, meet up with the other guys, and I hope everybody enjoyed this episode in New Mexico, and we are back, headed to the Oregon coast right now, so stay tuned. That's kind of what we got. That's my shooter, there. That's my shooter. Shooter. We got Trent and Noah. <laughs> we got a, one, of the, one of the band members back last night. That's right, Chase rolled in. Via New Mexico. What's that saying about coffee? No such thing as strong coffee, just weak men. We're gonna go kill a bull about, uh, whoa, whoa, no, no need to zoom in on how much creamer I use, okay? Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Leave that up to the people's imagination. All right. <laughs> How's your spoon doing? Mm. What? Which part? This part? Or this part? It's a little gummed up. <laughs> it's one of 500. What's for breakfast? Folgers. Folgers, huh? Yeah. If you make it thick enough, you can actually chew on it a little bit. Yeah, it's turned into just quite the granola party around here. You get a granola. You get a granola. <laughs> you get a granola. It's actually pretty delicious. As soon as I can find a spoon, I'm so going to eat mine. Homemade. I love it. Yeah, it's actually um, formula. Uh, for added nutrients. That's not <laughs> there had better not be formula in that thing. <laughs> Does that need to stay refrigerated all the time? We're gonna find out. Oh boy. Last week I got some cookie dough, ate about half the brick, and Trent the whole time was telling me I was gonna end up sick. And the next morning we were sitting on the landing and turned a little seasick. <laughs> I don't think it had anything to do with the ocean. Okay. We're like three miles from the ocean. It could don't, have been the ocean. Don't blame the ocean you, on that. You do understand like the consumption of raw eggs is not usually a good idea? All I'm saying is it could have been the ocean. I could see it. Talking about being this is what I've dealt with this in. season. Yeah. Trying to find Noah one, so we didn't wake up early. We're kind of, eh, whatever, you know, kind of thing. So, wow. anyways, wow. That's my shooter. I'm his shooter. I'm off his pickup. And then he realized he has no power steering. Oh, no. But he does have power, thunder, and lightning. <laughs> Just take the packages. That's my shooter. Looks like a, I don't even know what you look like. Look, see, his daughter made this for me. Jealous, jealous. Hudson, if you're watching this, thank you. We decided we're gonna pack up, move camp, try something totally new. Brand new area we've never hunted before. So, um, I don't know, spirits are up. Just change of pace, gypsy wagon, until. 
So we've abandoned ship. We're in a whole new place right now. And what we're doing in the new place is we're bugling everything. All these drainages, all this stuff, just trying to find an elk that wants to play, so. So uh, spot number one produced a bugle. We're, I think he's on the back side of this ridge a little ways, so we're moving around, really get a pinpoint. We'll drop in on him, get the wind right. We heard a bugle um, from the last unit. So we came up over on the back side. There's another unit. And right now we got a cow at like 300 yards feeding, but this is right where we heard the bugle from. So we're being super cautious. And the big thing is when you come up to a landing like this, don't just come up and skyline yourself. Go two feet at a time. Look at the parts of the unit that you can see and walk a little further just to make sure that you don't just pop right up to the edge and have an elk uh, be able to pick out your silhouette super easy. So right now this bull is like 200 yards below us straight down in this clear cut. He's breaking, he's not paying any attention up here. I don't know, just, we got probably an hour and a half, maybe two hours left of daylight. And so we're just trying to figure out the best way to um, call this bull in because there's not going to be any sneaking on him or anything like that. So we have the wind good. So but we're just trying to figure out the best way to approach this. So I'm set up here, just tucked up behind the stump. There's not enough room for me in trend, so he's off to my left, laying on the road, filming prone. Strand just bugled for the first time, and this bull just screamed right at the bottom. Trent signaled that he's starting to come up in between me and Cody, so let's see what happens here. I think Trent's got a good view of him. Thinking maybe I no shot him about four or five inches from behind the crease. He's hurting bad. This is definitely not something how you want to go down. See, Mama always told me I was meant to be back out. We're gonna watch it until we can't see him anymore. We'll have a starting point in the morning. We'll get here at daylight. It just sucks. The last thing you want him to do is suffer. Keep on getting stronger, keep on getting wiser, my dear. Don't give in to the forces, don't succumb to your fear. Oh, mama, I pray, oh, I pray that I'll stay strong. 
So it's a sucky deal. It's it's honestly really hard because um, you take a, a really great call in um, and an awesome elk experience, and you almost taint it a little bit when the shot doesn't go exactly your way. But we have an amazing crew here, and everybody's here for the long haul to help. And he said, Keep on getting stronger, keep on getting wiser, my dear. Don't give in to the forces, don't succumb to your fear. Oh, mama, I pray, oh, I pray that I'll stay strong. We're trying to side hill through this timber now and Chase and I are kind of on the upper side where it's uh, pretty thick but it's supposed to bench out up here so I'm going to keep pushing through here. We're all 20-30 yards apart and just trying to hopefully stumble into them. Right now we're just going to stay diligent and look for as long as we can and, and try to turn them up. So. Holy cow! I found him! She's a little thick. Cody just found him. Dude. Got him. Got him. Chase. Cody got him. Unreal. This is the second bull this season that we've had six man grid on. Yeah, and it's just, the cool thing about like what we have here is we all show up for each other every time, you know. Um, all year long, and it just <laughs> Cody Cody's, it just rotates through, you know, and whoever's up next, and everyone's there for you, and then all these guys, all of my brothers are here right now to to help, and we found them, so I'm pretty speechless. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I wouldn't miss it, man. I wouldn't miss it. Go get that trophy. Don't give in to the forces, don't succumb to your feet. Oh, it's your guys awesome says it's not typical. Freaking awesome. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. It's tough because it's a giant, giant win, but just in the way that it happened and on the like this bull just having to suffer longer than he than he should have is tough. But um, so it's hard because this is such a like a big moment that we've all worked so hard for and these guys have all achieved and then it's, it's just tough. How to carry on And he said Keep on getting stronger Keep on getting wiser, my dear Don't give in to the forces Don't succumb to your fear Oh, mama, I pray Oh, I pray that I'll stay strong Man, when you work together and everybody like comes together, it, it, it's amazing what you can do and what you can accomplish. So we owe it to that, and um, a lot of hard work by each and every one of them. So it's been awesome. <laughs> Easy now, Tiger. Easy now. Easy now. Rebin's racing. <laughs> Easy now. That's a good angle to take a picture.
it's like what eight miles yeah. time. Rough country, rough country, but eight miles. Yeah. Yeah. Promise? Huh? Promise? Promise? Like promise to get an elk? No, no, not to kill us. Oh. <laughs> I, pro I promise we'll kill an elk. Okay, perfect. Gonna make it ten miles high. Gonna burn it all. Something's got to be done And I don't own a gun So I'm gonna start a brush fire Blood <laughs> and holy crap, dude! My lamp. <laughs> you might break the 300 mark. Oh yeah, dude, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Thank you, brother. Oh, this one to Steve. He's like, yeah, you can get this tag. We'll go in there. I'm confident we'll kill bull in like two days. <laughs> well, confident. Took three, <laughs> three, three hours. <laughs> three hours. That's like it's a great Holy elk. cow. <laughs> I mean, just solid. I, I, I was really known for these terrible furs, but this side's freaking great. Just and good. And they're not super massive. But dude, young those bull. swords are. Yeah. Yeah, he's not. A, he's a nice elk. He's not like. He's a young bull. Like, really good genetics. Here. Dude. I think this bull's bigger than the one I shot last year, and I waited 21 years to get that tag. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow! Dude. So, like the range of emotions of this is day 29, and first day here in Idaho, but day 29 of the season, and it's been. I remember day 14. I had a mental breakdown. Like, really? Yeah. I didn't tell anyone, but I just realized I still had like 20 some days to go. Yeah. 
and I'm like, I'm not even halfway. <laughs> I'm like, this is hard. I miss my family. I miss, you know, just, it, yeah. So, it's good. I'm stoked. This is an awesome bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of a weird elk, I'll be honest. It's like, huh, that worked. It's kind of easy. We killed one, like, pretty fast. It's just a different range of emotions for me on this one, I'll be honest. Still loved it, just different. Just feel blessed today like get to spend the day with my best friend and my new best friend chase we spent a lot of time together this season we've been having a blast and uh just a huge shout out to him and all his work behind the camera you guys he's a pretty special individual and pretty blessed to have him on the born and raised team don't want to get too emotional but brother i love you man i really Thank appreciate y'all yeah don't make me cry. <laughs> Don't make me cry. <laughs> Wind it down on the end of our hunt, guys. It's 8:30 in the morning. Got a long drive back home, so we're gonna move on. Uh, appreciate you following along. This has been a really fun hunt. Uh, am I a little bummed out? I'm a little bit bummed, but uh, the takeaways from this hunt are, you know, just good out, good to get out in the elk woods and have some fresh air, be with some great friends, and have a good time. We are on day one of our 
elk hunt. It's a rifle elk hunt. So uh, we met up with a couple of buddies and we're just gonna hit her hard for a week and see if we can find a few bulls. So hopefully we can get some elk on the ground. So we're gonna bring you guys with us for this whole journey and uh, we're excited to show it to you. says the crow flies. That's rough. That's a long way. It's, it's over a... That's not going to happen. It's a long way. So. so it's not happening tonight. Tomorrow morning, hopefully, maybe that bull's moved closer to where we can get a, better, a little better play on him. I don't know. Lightning doesn't strike twice in the same spot, right? <laughs> his horns. He's a nice bull. He's a nice bull. It looks like a spot we can possibly get a shot. But 40 minutes to get over there. So we gotta at least try. Got, gotta climb up some vertical again and uh, we're gonna be going on some really steep side hill. Maybe hoping not to get cliffed out and uh, hopefully get this bull down tonight. So it looks like a nice bull and hopefully there's more with it. Decision making, trying to get closer to that bull. This is the perfect rest right here. This is the only flat spot on the mountain. We ended up seeing Big Boy here. He was out there at 880, 889 yards, and uh, just elected not to take the shot. So we are going to back out of here before it gets too dark and uh, hike all the way back up to camp and then make a plan for the Day three, and we are still rolling hard. That being said, we're almost out of food. <laughs> we're 
gonna make some plans, but first I think what we're gonna do this morning is glass for a couple hours, see what we can see, and see if there's something around that we can go for. And um, after that, we'll make our plan. But another beautiful, beautiful day in here. We're gonna go back into where we were last night. We're gonna spend two days in here, and we are going to try to shoot at least one of those bulls, if not both of those bulls, we're gonna try. So this is our best opportunity that we've seen without like hiking miles and miles around and trying to figure out some total other plan. So. This is it, this is where you see us right now. No water at camp two. <laughs> conserve, your, conserve your rations. Squeezing. Give me one more step in there. Okay. Right there? Yep. Yep. Go ahead. Hit him. Look perfect. Do it again. Get him. Get him another yep. one. Get him again. Look perfect. Get yep. him again. Yep, get him again. If you can, he's going down. He's, he's going just, down. He's laying down. Another third one, perfect. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Just walk down. He's he's sick, Trevor. He's he's hurting. <laughs> he just went down. He's, he's down. down. He's down. He's down. He's down. Perfect oh, shots. Perfect, perfect shots. Oh. Perfect shots. He's down. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Oh, you did it. He came right out. Oh. Oh. I saw him step out. I go, oh, that first, oh, that, that dude, that first bullet. Oh. Like that, and he just goes, oh, like that. It was so awesome. The second one hit. Second one hit. Get him again. Yep, get him again. Get him in more perfect. Oh. Oh. He's down, right? Down, down. That's a big bull, dude. That's a big bull. <laughs> we hammered him, buddy. He's down. <laughs> Craig from Sig Optics. 
is a gentleman. It's a gentleman of scholar. Let me shoot first in his country where he hunts. It's awesome. Be up probably all night because we've got a lot of feet to climb and a lot of miles to go. So. <laughs> oh dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this time spent with brothers out here. It's been such a blast with these guys and just can just making bonds just solid as heck. So I just I just want to just say thank you to every single person in this group. Please help us have a safe Rest of our journey out of here, back to the trail. Hopefully the horses show tomorrow. Uh, in Jesus' name, thank you again for this great, great place that you make. We've been through some awesome country. Amen. Amen. Way to go. <laughs> thank you, Trent. Thank you. I'll never do that again! Oh, good. Good job. Good job. This was the hardest pack out of my life, and I know I've probably said that before, but I think it was probably the hardest pack out of all of our lives. And uh, so I just have a debt of gratitude to all these guys for uh, just being so selfless and helping me get, you know, that's a dandy bow, man. So. Never been here before in someone else's spot, and and uh, to have the generosity that these guys have shown has just been just on another level. So uh, I can't thank the Sig Optics guys enough. Uh, these guys are studs. So we s picked up a camera almost 20 years ago and we had a dream and after a lot of hard work and a lot of risks, that dream became a reality and it turned into what Born and Raised Outdoors is today. And there is not one moment in this whole process, this whole journey that we've experienced, that we've went through the trials and tribulations that we could have not have done without the brotherhood. That was us breaking our backs for each other, sacrificing for each other, or picking your other brother up when he's down. Um, we, there's no way this could have made what it is and the impact of how it's become without the brother. Well, three if you count the toilet paper, so it's not looking good for me. <laughs> If nothing else, I just hope that this, watching this, would help for you just to, it, whatever you're facing right now, whatever you're going through, to get out there and face that uncomfortability and to aspire to something better and take that challenge on and conquer it. Light is gone till sunrise Just a shadow Welcome back to Elk Week, uh, the second annual. And uh, first thing we want to start off is just thank you guys for watching and um, subscribing and sharing it with your friends. Um, we have a big announcement for the winner from yesterday. It's Frank, 
Branthorst from Oregon. Camby, Oregon. And you got yourself uh, a cat road shuffle. So everything you need to get in the woods, call a bull and get it killed. You're all set up. Tomorrow, the big giveaway is going to be the elusive meat bags. These have the zipper in them, designed by us. Cody, fill them in on tomorrow's video. So tomorrow's video is a uh, viewer submission video. So we had a bunch of submissions from last year. We talked about Elk Week. You guys could be this same video next year. We're pretty excited about the opportunity to share our channel and viewers submitting their elk hunts um, or any kind of hunt for that matter, but especially elk for Elk Week. Um, and we picked three guys this year, had some awesome films, and uh, hopefully we see a video from you next year in the mix. Going through some of these, these videos, uh, it kind of brought us back to seeing that passion and feeling that passion uh, and working so hard and it was it's really fun to to watch some of these videos we think your guys are, you guys are gonna love them too and uh we'll see you on the next one well you gotta you gotta oh. wonder where are we at this is in oregon we're, we're lost i am uh, sweating profusely <laughs> we're in salt lake city at the eastern archery center we got a guest cameraman right now what's up what's up everyone what's up bro nation <laughs> we got b mac inside chester we got the boys from thp Drew and Lee from Seek One, Crispy. It's been kind of a fun uh, kind of secret project that we're working on behind the scenes, fellow YouTubers. So if you guys haven't seen their channels, go check them out. They all make phenomenal content. And uh, yeah, just excited to be here and excited that you guys clicked on this video. So stay tuned for tomorrow. Appreciate you guys for checking out Elk Week and uh, catch you on the next one. Cody's letting the cat out of the bag.